Delirium is a very thought-provoking horror film that many horror fans have missed. Delirium follows the story of Tom. He just relieved from a mental hospital. He appears that he went through some traumatic experience in the past and he started to be delusional and see things. So after his father's death, he is released from the hospital to live at his father's big mansion. So for 30 days, he stuck there while they observe his progress. So stage is set for some entertaining horror story. Throughout the movie, the audience are forced to guess what is real and what is in Tom's delusional mind. Rule your fear. Don't let it rule you. I'm in doubt. Trust my brain, not my eyes. There you go. Spoiler alert, you've been warned. The whole point of the movie is to figure out what is real and what is in Tom's head. Obviously, a great deal here is not happening in the literal sense. I suspect that time in the psychiatric hospital was meant to be an actual event, and all the traumatic events in Tom's past is real. But when Tom moves into his father's mansion, it is hard to say whether or not he is actually residing in the house, or whether it meant to be a representing a feeling of confinement. Here we have an individual battling mental illness who seems to be systematically reliving his painful events in the past that he has yet to come to terms with. As he moved to the father's mansion, he started to deal with these painful events in his past. We see him dealing with his dysfunctional relationship with his father and mother. He never left. Also, his painful relationship with his brother. This isn't real. <laughs> this is real. YOU'RE NOT REAL! And especially, his part in murdering of the innocent girl. Even the final scene is almost exact recreation of the murder he witnessed, but failed to stop. Except for this time, he intervened and saved the girl. A direct reversal of the original dramatic event. The final scene in the movie entails the police showing up and simply asking, Is this your house? He replied, It is now. So the house has represent his mind. Only after coming in terms with the events of his childhood, and the reimagining of the traumatic event of the murder, he's finally free. The psychological battle has been won, and the house, which is also his mind, is finally his. At the end, the movie is about Tom's coming in terms with his troubled past and trying to be well. So you could safely say that everything that happened after he moved into the mansion is all in his mind. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. More videos to come. Is this your house? It is now. My very life is in her keeping.